In honor of the Queen's death, Valerie named her room after a legacy that, that, that Vicky had. She was a woman like no other. So sweet, so kind and pure. And the day she left us, February 2nd, was a day we all dreaded. So in honor of her mom, she named her room Sweet 202. She lived there for many years until those women moved in. Valerie was so sad. Her room would now be given up to Vivian. Her whole life, her whole remembrance of her mother would be thrown away because the room Vivian was in wasn't big enough. Didn't have a big enough bathroom to hold all her makeup. So, they moved her to Valerie's room. Oh, I'm trying to hold the love. This rocks. It's weird. Oh, my back. Oh, the pain. The agony. Why couldn't he hire another person? Just because they can't get here in time doesn't mean that we have to lug it. Oh, my back. Where's Vivian? She should be doing work. And after all, she's moving to the new room. But we're the one lugging all this disgusting old garbage. Vivian. <sighs> Vivian. Mother. Oh, one more minute. Vivian. <sighs> Vivian. Yes, Mother. Oh, what time is it? Uh, oh my gosh! Slow eating! I forgot today was packing day. I just can't stand this disgusting old room. Here's all your bedspreads. Up. We'll go put in the new room. Uh, Those bedrooms aren't going to move themselves. <sighs> After all, they're bedspreads. They don't spread across the world. Well, move it, you old thug! Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye's right. Now where those eyes ain't moving, they ain't going. <sighs> Keep on walking. It ain't like they're going to just move over and waddle like penguins. Sisters, am I right? Ah, my new room. Sweet. 202. It's so beautiful. Oh, I better go check the bathroom. <gasps> Just enough space, and all oh, my clothes are already here. Do you buy oh, bread? it's beautiful, and such a great place for my mirror and my makeup. Oh, and it's already here. Vivian, how perfect! Vivian, there's extra clothes for you when you grow uh, a size down. Oh, I just know I'm going to have a wonderful time here. All my clothes that are um, too big for me go to you. So what am I, some big old hurricane monster? I'm not big, you know. I've been losing some fat. I've been in the gym. You know, you're pretty <sighs> clean because you're older than me, so that's why. You're perfect for all your age, especially your size. Your size is perfect for your age. For. Especially because you are older than me. Oh, fuck. I am Captain. I can't even keep your eyes open with your glasses. Can't even keep your eyes open with your Well, sweet 202. Get out of here! What part of get out of here do you not understand? Now go! <sighs> oh, mother, this place is going to be perfect. She's got it all in the bag. She won't even know what hit her. You're right, Vivian. You always are. Yes? Dad's ready for breakfast. He wants us all to come. Um, uh, just give us one moment. Uh, Vivian, come on, let's go.
Oh, it's been such a lovely time. It's been so wonderful since we saw your father. It's been such a long time, too. You know, I don't remember last time that we had a good family talk. I know. Maybe we should all go on a little family trip to Gucci. Before we go there, I have I'm to go. Or maybe Prota. Any of them will work. I see that you've liked Vivian's room so far. Oh, it's very now let me look through your closets. Why? Oh, let's see what can go in good with. Let's see, most of us can. Those are my good dresses. I'm just joking. You know I would never do anything like that. Of course. There are my stepmother, after all. Yes, I am all right. Where is Vivian? Vivian, come on, let's go meet your father. <sighs> well, I hope he's excited to meet us. We have, well, you haven't seen him in a long time. Oh, yes, he's been off to London, hasn't he? He should really tell us about his journeys. You know, I'm thinking maybe we should go to Italy or Rome or somewhere. Well, he's very busy with his business trips and his work. But I'm maybe sure Paris. Somewhere. <sighs> or we oh! Where's my bag? I'll call him right now and tell him about our honeymoon trip. We still haven't gone yet because of all his beard and king stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what about, um, Vivian? Where is she? I can find her. Vivian! Vivian! Uh, Why is that, Mom? Uh, just uh, a minute. Oh, where did I put my glasses? Uh. Uh. Well, this suite isn't as great as it looks. I mean, who got this dingy bed? Who bought this disgusting old curtains? I mean. Look at them! I see you like the new curtains. Yeah. 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 Oh. Your mom picked them out. I can see she has interesting tastes. Well. Good luck. Wonder what? Getting the worst room curtains ever? Award? Sure. Good luck. Living here. Yeah. This is my favorite place after my mom died. I can't believe you like this dingy old place. I mean, honestly. Like, that bed. It looks like it's been here for a hundred years. It's the perfect bed. Actually, it's been here for a hundred ten years. But we change the mattresses pretty frequently and dust up the things. We also give them new shades of cover so that it didn't get too old. If you kick it, it probably would just fall apart. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Oh, sorry. Just yeah, but you just come there. in every hundred years. Every ten years, actually. Lucky them. Actually, they live in the palace, so whenever we really need something, even if they come every year, <sighs> they're going to come a few days from now, actually. Look, I'd really love to enjoy this talk about your... That's the old room, but don't we have to go meet Father? I mean, he is coming a little bit. Well, that's true. Um, it is kind of late. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, um, but we still have 14 minutes. 14 more minutes of this lovely, joyful story. Sorry. How about we go in four minutes, okay? Four minutes! Oh, that's so wonderful. I can't wait to meet Father. Uh, wait. Let's see. Ooh, my work is kind of calling. Hello? Yes? Oh, my gosh. This is terrible. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, oh. Oh, my gosh. I swear, I hear like I'm here. I feel like I'm hearing Hamlet over here. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be sure to warn my father. <laughs> I'll definitely come to the funeral. <gasps> funeral! Something interesting for once! I mean, I mean, that's 
Yeah. That's so sad. Three minutes. Funeral. Three minutes. Till I get to see father. What happened? You seem sad. Oh, um. Some fun drama in this family. One of my co-workers died. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, one of my co-workers' daughters died, and um, they're very old. And the uh, co-work is actually sick. So just like Hamlet. Uh, family the, drama. The extra Exquisite. money went to the dad, but the dad... Well, let me just say. The dad is getting really old, and he thinks the money is not going to be used, so he donated it to us. Yes! More money, money, and money! And we can put it on um, in my dad's... More. Your dad's what? So whoever the money goes to, whatever. Oh, I decided to tell my dad that all the money doesn't just go to me. It will also be a quarter will go to you. A quarter will go to your mom. And another quarter will go to charity. Wow, how heart touching. But if there's no charity to donate to, which I don't think we'll do, we'll just split it up into thirds. Actually, there's no oh. charity. My dad wanted to give it to me. Oh, well, I talked to your father yesterday, actually, on the phone. He said that he didn't really mind. He said he would love to send it with the people he loves, which are us three. So I think that's really fine. Like, we don't really need to give it to charity or anything because I think that's really awful that we're spending money. Like, actually, no, we I just need talked to him Oh, you did. How actually, I actually did. And um, I uh, was going to donate some money. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Your father's here. One minute. One minute. One more. Probably like 30 seconds. <sighs>